Hello and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today we're going to be having a first look at The Surge, a brand new shiny, shiny game. And I'm going to be guiding you through about the first 45 minutes to show you some of the nuances this game has to offer. It is a very tricky game and it has a very steep learning curve the first time you play. So without further ado, let's get stuck in and play. I'm going to start a timer just to keep me on track of where I'm at in terms of the first 45 minutes or so. Here's the story. You don't really need to know it. I will leave that for you. If, you've, if you're watching this video and you want to know how to play the game, then you'll have watched the intro. But yes, I am on a maglev, a, a, a Docklands Light Railway of the future, if you will. Uh, and there's me, the protagonist, sitting down on this train. Now, if you have a look here on the train, there's two adverts, one either side. There's that geezer there, and there's that geezer there. That is the Lynx exoskeleton, and that is the Rhino exoskeleton. They're the... Oi, oi. So, uh... I think... Right, okay, apparently, uh... Yeah. Apparently assets are just popping into view at the moment. Anyway, um, you can pick either one of those two suits to be your main in this game. And as you can see there, look round with R and inverted look by pressing down on the D-pad. And we're pulling into our destination right now. Come on, let me go. Resource station. Okay, so here's me. I am wheelchair bound. And we're gonna just head on over this way. I don't think too many of you will have got lost at this point. But if you just head down to the end of the platform, head towards the exit signs, and then follow the yellow arrows on the floor. It took me a while to get to grips with this game. I'm still finding it very brutal. Those of you who like Bloodborne, I think you're going to like this. It offers the same kind of challenge and some of the same nuances. So get killed anywhere on the map, you'll lose your bits and bobs. You've got a certain amount of time in this, however, to go and collect your bits and bobs. Anyone you've killed before you've got killed will respawn. Okay, there's two exoskeletons, Rhino, which is heavyweight, and Lynx. Lynx is a bit faster, Rhino is a bit stronger. I'm going to pick Rhino be a tank. Brute force, baby. If you believe you can move mountains, Creo has the job for you. Thanks, Creo. Okay, so this cutscene... Quite a tasty cutscene. We're getting fitted for our exosuit, our exoskeleton, our rig. So being sized up. Heartbeats up to 83, 94. He's starting to puff himself. Sedated. He doesn't look very sedate to me. Oh no. Hold tight. Couple of screws drilled into your chest plate, mate. Oh, and straight into the hips. That's got to hurt. Couple in the shoulder. Grim, he's just got screws galore. And a bit of hot welding going on. Looks reasonably unscathed. There you go, dude. Yeah, now you can breathe. Oh, shit. Neural link time. <laughs> Straight in the bonds. Boom. There's your intro to the surge. Done. Beautiful. We're about four minutes in. The surge. So, about 40 minutes of gameplay coming up from me. And I'll just try and explain every single thing I'm doing during the game. So I don't think it explains it very well to anyone who's kind of new to the genre. I, I wouldn't say I was new to the genre, but I'm certainly not a seasoned pro. I did play a lot of Bloodborne, I'm, I played a lot of Dark Souls 3, not very well I must admit, and uh, I played a, a little bit of Dark Souls 1. I do love the games, but they are a little bit beyond my skill level, shall we just say. I'm going to try 
and best this. Okay, so something went wrong with our implant and we've been dumped in a, a rocket ship junkyard and the AI is attacking us for God knows what reason. Alright, so we pick up the nearest thing, which looks like a piston of some sort. So if we press B, we use a health injection. If we click in the right stick, we can attack the robots. Booyah, just like that. <clears throat> right, and... Da -da 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 -da. Every attack and action consumes stamina. Stamina is my green bar, you can see there. It means you can only string together a certain amount of uh, shots before you're knackered, like that. What I was doing there is pressing A, and I was dodging. But you can see, if you have a look here, if I press dodge, it uses one quarter of my energy. If I press right trigger, that's the uh, vertical strike, uses one sliver of my stamina. If I use the horizontal strike with RB, uses one quarter. So you can string together three shots and a dodge, or four shots and no dodges, or two dodges and two shots. Depends on really how you would like to fight. So let's go dodge and attack and attack. Job done. And it pretty much used, well it did use all of my stamina. It regains pretty quick but when you're in the heart of combat, it doesn't regain quick enough. I think there are mods and whatnot that you can uh, pick up later which will increase your stamina. So there you go. Right, I've just picked up uh, some bits and pieces which I shall be explaining to you shortly. We do have block which it says uh, if I just unlock from this guy with LB. I always forget to use LB but I'll just show you here when he comes to attack me. So it does use my stamina but you can see I was attacked and I didn't lose any life. Good times. We're in the rocket yard now. I mean, it does look very nice. Got a nice bit of lens flare going on. The assets all around us look good. The dust. It's all very nice. And I've just got disorientated. Right, okay. Don't forget your roots. Alright, mate. So here, when locked, press LT to cycle through enemies. Right, so let's lock. There are two enemies here. Uh, if we press LT, there you go, there's two enemies. Who do I attack first? Or you hold LT and you just press R. If there's a group of them or whatever, you can just pick whichever whichever enemy you want. Who's nearer? Is he nearer? No, I think he's nearer. I'm going to run. He wasn't nearer. There we go. Nice little combo there. And it didn't even use all of my energy. So let's pick this up. What have we got? New implant acquired. Yeah, so what we're going to do is head on right here. This is our first look at the med bay. The med bay is key in this game. Fault detected in our exosuit. Your power core seems to be defective. There's nothing we can do about it yet. We haven't picked up the bits and pieces we need. But we can go on to implants. We have four slots available. Our implants will give us different abilities. So when I press B presently, I increase my health okay I have little health boosters health packs if you will so that is one of my equipped implants if I select another one I've got four straight out of the box here we're gonna pick this this is mechanized counterweight and it applies a physical damage boost to your weapons we'll have that thank you very kindly Then we move on over here to our next two this is a proximity sensor this is going to get annoying for you out there but for me the player vital it tells you where parts are around the map when you're getting close to them as one would expect and here finally we've got this one which shows you uh, your enemy health gauges job done and we can hot swap them in and out uh, whenever we're at this med bay here very very useful tools so this little shop has come to life can't use this yet, I will be using that in a while. That is our crafting station, but not just yet. Now we must go and talk to this Doris. So let's just sit back and wait for the panel on the wall to trigger. Are you still there? There it is. Interact. Your rig has been damaged. Its distress beacon has been triggered. You need to get back into the factory doesn't matter which order you do these questions in there operated with the d-pad I've just been attacked the rig is damaged how do I get to the factory let's do how do I get to the factory well, okay I'll just stroll right on over to the factory then 
I certainly don't recommend walking. She there doesn't. There should be a maglev station nearby. They're never far from Ops. The rig seems to work for me. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. So we just go through all of this stuff, get it out of the way. Say that again. And we shan't have to use this unit for some time. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. I don't know you. I'm surrounded by dead people here. Maybe someone would like to explain what's going on. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. You need to get inside. Maybe you can make And then we end this by just pressing B, which is a uh, goodbye, the goodbye button. Goodbye. On my way. Okay, so now we're about to battle uh, more human elements. Let's just wait here for this nice little bit. Check this bad boy out. Oh yeah. Now you've probably all, those of you interested in this game, seen this part of the game already. But fear not, hopefully I uh, am going to be explaining this better than a lot of other people have. Okay, we're about to be attacked by this humanoid guy on the floor. That beeping just there, that is to tell me that there is some goodies nearby. And that is going to keep on going and get louder and louder the nearer I get to that. So let's have a look at this instruction on the wall. While locked on, move R in a direction to target enemy body parts. Right. So as soon as this geezer stands up, or while he's lying down, I clicked in R and I've locked on to the guy. Then if you move around your right analog, it tells you which part you're going to be attacking. So the yellow parts are shielded or armoured. The blue parts, as you can see, it, the guide there turns green. They are not. They are not armoured, so we can just smash his face in like this, and he can't really do much about it, and he's dead now. There you go. Fully dead. 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 At the moment, we can't do finishing moves. We can't slice off body parts uh, for about another 10 minutes or so. So don't worry about that. Okay, let's lock on to this fella. It says here, there you go. Attack unarmoured body parts to do more damage to your enemies. Uh, so let's attack his left arm. Oh, and he took a chunk out of me there. And again. Don't worry, he's fairly weak, this fella. And let's just try ducking out the way. I'm just going to press B, and what B does is injects me with a little bit of health. There we go, man down. It doesn't matter that I'm getting battered at the moment. Every time you go back to your base, just up there, you will get three more health packs. All right, and you you have to go back to your base very very frequently. Right, I've just woken up that geezer through there. Don't know what you call him, Mech Man. I hate this bit because I don't have my finishing moves yet. I'm in a tunnel and I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Don't worry about it, mate. He's gone now. Right, I've still got two health packs. That's good. I'm going to use one just here. I'm going to go and get this secret over here. Damn it, it's not a secret. It's an audio log. log. Need to upgrade your power core or replace it. Otherwise, you ain't getting through that door. He's talking about that you door over there. Overload it without the proper power capacity. Security is going to end up all over your ass. We've come too far to get caught now. Those implants are worth thousands. This is our golden ticket out of here, man. Don't. I've got a golden up. ticket. Right, we're going to cave his head in as well. I think for the time being, we're going to use our. Hmm. Big boy shot. Let's duck out of the way. Let's take this battle nice and slow. Yeah, they do give you loads of warning at the start, these enemies. Later on, they'll jump out from nowhere and just absolutely mangle you. Right, power core needed. Thank you. Power core acquired. Return it to the med bay to restore your exo rig's full functionality. Yeah. So, you'll see... Hold up. Let me get rid of this sound by picking up that. That is a small pile of metal scrap. Very useful, thank you. Right, I don't think I can do much about that for the time being. I think that is the other side of the wall, but we'll get there in a bit. 
Okay, it wants us to open this, and that has a number 10 on it. We can't do this for the time being, because we don't have a power core. I'll just show you. Electrocuted. Power core acquired. I need... My core power is too low. Overcharging failed. So we're going to run back. And... Install our power core. And this is where the Welcome game starts to, to come alive. Medbay. In we go. Fault resolved. So power core has been detected. Okay. Now. Every enemy I kill, I get scrap. Alright. And with the scrap, you can power up your power core. So presently, my power core, you can just see the notes here. Pause it if you want to read that. But I've got 630 scrap. I need 395, as you can see on the right-hand side, to power my core up to power 11. So let's do that. Core power is now 11. I have 235 scrap bits left. No worries. What does the power core power actually do? It enables you to carry more things on your rig. We currently have nothing on our rig. Do not worry about it. My rig is to database empty. Restored. Checking database. Gear voucher right. Gear They've voucher given us a gear redeemed. voucher. Pick that up. Rhino arm gear and rhino leg gear. Job done. That's two schematics given to me for free. Let's open up our gear assembly. So I've got these two schematics it just gave me. Okay. Um, it's, this is where you craft new bits for your exoskeleton. It doesn't really explain it too well if you haven't used crafting mechanics in a video game before, so I'll try and go as slow as possible um, without trying to bore you. Okay, so new gear parts can be crafted from schematics by holding A when all required components are available. Alright, so this thing I've got here, this is my Rhino arm gear. This will enable me to strap on a bit, of, big bit of armour on my uh, left or my right arm. It's going to give me plus 9 defence. It's going to give me uh, plus 30 impact and minus 4 attack speed. So I'm just going to slowly, slowly build myself into a big, powerful tank. However, I can't build this just yet. Firstly, because as you can see, the A on the right-hand side isn't fully illuminated. That only illuminates, meaning I can build it when I have the prerequisites. The prerequisites here are tech scrap, you can see. It says I need 788. In red brackets, I've only got 235. So I've got to go out and uh, scavenge for that stuff. I also need three more force regulators. You will pick these bits and pieces up just through battles and whatnot, so don't worry about that. So moving over to the, uh, what is this, the Rhino leg gear here. As you can see, the stats on the bottom, and I need lots of money and one pneumatic helix. So I can't really do too much. Once you have bits and pieces uh, installed, you can then upgrade them from here. And you will find all of your um, installed bits in that screen as well. So don't worry about that. I haven't got anything Be installed at the moment. But doing that has now enabled me to do finishing moves. So let's go back through once again. Let's target this mofo. And we are going to want... Let's try and cut his arm off so I just need to batter him a little bit and then pop him like so there you go I wrecked his arm and I've now got the plans for an arm all right it's Link's arm now if you remember at the beginning we had to pick between Link's the nice agile mech suit or Rhino. I've just picked up a Lynx part. I can attach it to myself, but I basically have the frame here. I think that's how it works for Rhino, but who knows. Right, let's target this bad boy. What do we want off him? Uh, damage and cut weapons and armored body parts to get new equipment. Uh, let's get his weapon, his right arm. Yeah, bitch. Too slow for me. No, he's not. And let's cut this off. Job done. So I should be able to... There we go. Pick up a new weapon. Weapon acquired. And if I go into my uh, <laughs> my suit screen, um, I can 
I can attach it to my mech suit. Now that's something this game actually doesn't do. It does not explain how to equip exoskeleton parts. So all you do, you hold the menu button and you can see here the yellow exclamation marks tell me when I've got a bit of new gear for that slot. Right arm, there you go, so that was the two bits it gifted me earlier and right leg and our new weapon. Look at the stats there, uh, it compares my one on the left that I'm about to equip with the one I've currently got equipped on the right. You can see far more damage on the one I'm just about to equip, 27 versus 18. Impact is high on this one versus medium. Attack speed is medium on the original one, but low on the one I'm about to equip, etc. And these all take up uh, different amounts of core power consumption. All right, So just remember that when you're selecting bits and pieces. There we go. I've only used 9 of my 11 core power units, so I'm pretty much okay. Um, yes, I think I am all good to go. There we go. New weapon. Let's just health up. And let's go and get this gimp in this hole just to collect some bits and bobs. Uh, do we need to? No, I don't really need to. Let's go and do this guy. Let's cut off his body part, I suppose. Bollocks. They give you loads of time to dodge all this shit, but I'm a, I'm a very, very, very hasty guy. Right, so I'm going to be going for his, his midriff. There we go. Split him in two. There's his body gear. And so now I've got the schematic for uh, his body gear. Now we can open, we can overcharge this, which will open the door. Okay, let's just health up, because this bit can get a bit fruity in here. Look at me, man. Looking like some ultimate Bond bad guy. All right, let's just run around here. Oh. Just gonna slice this bad boy up. Now the the worrying thing about this guy that I am is he's and the loadout I've got selected is I become very very slow. So once I've done a move and a dodge, I'm then really slow to react. So newcomers, you might if you're a bit nimble and whatnot you might want to pick uh, the faster geezer sorry I was just assessing my move here ripped his face off and go and take his helmet nice and got two bits there very good rusty metal scrap okay one of the worst mechanics in the game here and that's the jumping mechanic in order to, it tells you here, just on the wall, while sprinting, uh, press L while sprinting to perform a jump. Literally, it is the same button. Click in L to start running and then click it again to jump. I hate this mechanic, especially as I now have to jump straight up there. So I have to sprint against this wall and then press it again in order to pick up this tungsten alloy. Really, really dodgy, dodgy mechanic. But that is one of my few complaints about this game okay up we go let's go and press this button here this was a power 11 to interact with I don't know what it opens because I always do this bit first I'm sure it opens the next button or something I don't know maybe you can tell me I genuinely don't know let's go back down the lift right my health could do with a little top up I still have one more med pack. There's two guys over here. Right, this guy's a nutter. I didn't didn't lock onto a body part here. This is there we go. Come on. Overhead. Finish him. And ripped his face off as well. Bosh. Now then. 
Let's read what this says. Remember to cut enemy body parts and get new equipment and crafting material. Good. Right, there is a gazer just there. Let's just mangle him. And I genuinely don't have much energy here. He didn't see that. Uh... But I cut him into bits. And I picked up a new weapon. And that is actually a weapon I haven't tried before. Right. I'll talk about this in a moment. I'm just going to open this door here. It says here, strike enemies to build up en energy. Spend energy to use implants and finish off enemies. You see, you can't do the finishing move without having lots of energy. These crates, you'll be tempted to hit these crates. Like so. Uh, there's... I've never found anything in one of those crates. Let me just pick this up. New implant acquired. And that's sustaining array. And this is an audio log. This time about the exoskeleton program. He's refused to have the implant surgery. He's refused. We've explained it's hardly invasive. We even offered to double his bonus. But no, thinks management will use it to control the workforce. And he even brought up his union nonsense again. If he poisons the others, it could put a fine schedule. Right. It's the reason I went and battered that blue box is because you might be tempted to break them all open. The ones you really want to look out for are the wooden boxes, like this, the elongated wooden boxes. There we go, small pile of rare material scrap. Now my beeping has stopped. Okay, this is where it gets tasty. There's a level 55, I can't open this for months. So don't worry about that, because I'm only a level 11. Now we're going to chuck a right here. Hopefully no one saw us. No, they didn't. We're pretty okay in here. We're going to open this. We're going to open this door here. Why are we going to do that? Well, just like Bloodborne, we have now opened a shortcut back to our med lab okay so I'm gonna go back into the med lab I'm gonna cache all my bits and pieces so I don't lose them and uh, then we're gonna pro uh, progress proceed all right let's re uh, recharge that not recharge it let's upgrade that to one more let's do that level 13 we're gonna back out give up She's not one of them. And gear assembly. Right, look, we've got loads of bits and pieces now. I don't have enough uh, force regulators for my... What is this thing? A uh, new arm piece. I don't have enough rig armatures for my chest plate. I don't have enough anything for building anything. So I'm going to go and, and, if she won't, and do a bit more grinding. And then we'll Come back be able to slap on a couple more bits and pieces. Can I slap anything on right now? Uh, no. No. No, I don't have... Uh, I do have a new weapon. Right, let's try out this weapon. Oh, look. This is medium impact. Medium, medium, medium. How's it look? Ooh, that is tasty. Right, let's just have a try with it. I've never used this weapon before. I'm just going to kill this first guy with it, because we know he's nice and easy. Nice. And slices him clean in two. And what have we got? Leg gear. In fact, I'm just going to go and farm this guy as well. Where has he gone? Ow. Ow. No, 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 dear boy. Come on. Job done. There's a leg. I'll have a leg. I'm a leg man. Okay. Got about 15 more minutes, so let's try and make some progress. What we're going to do... I'm not a big fan of this weapon. It's okay. We're going to use our shortcut to get back to exactly where we were a moment ago just here I could go all the way back round but it would mean farming again doing all of those bad guys I just did because obviously every time you go to the med lab everyone 
<laughs> respawns as you can see just there. We're going to try and creep round to the right here. Hopefully that geezer didn't see me. Right. This room is a nightmare. I might die here. You might see me die. Uh, I just need to wait until they're quite far apart from each other, these, these old beans. It's just a waiting game. I am very impatient with video games, though. Doesn't really matter which way I go. I think I'm going to be attacked. Right, ah, here we go, here we go. Right, let's lock onto him. Hopefully he'll... Oh, no. Okay, he's gone the other way. Ah, okay, hang on. I don't usually have this much trouble. Here we go. Come on. Oh shit. Right, I've been spotted. Right, let's uh let's just leg it, really. No need to get into fights if we don't need to. Let's wait until are any of them gonna go about a fork? Right, it might be worth just exiting here. And then coming back in in a second. I haven't really got the energy for this. In fact, I have no energy. That's interesting. Hmm. I kind of want to show you what happens when I die. So I'm not going to go back to the med lab. Let's show you what happens when I die. There we go, dead. Right. No vital signs found. So anything I've picked up prior to that point are now left in a bundle exactly where I died. I've got 2 minutes and 30 seconds to Please find remember, it. It's only 60 metres away. Is our highest priority and should be yours. There you go. Lost tech scrap. You will drop all tech scrap you were carrying when you died. Go to the location of your death to pick it up again. And you can see the timer on the right hand side. 2 minutes and 14 seconds. I'm just going to change my weapon. I know it's a bit faster. But I like this bad boy. Okay, so let's handle these with a bit more finesse. Did that guy see me? He can be a little bastard, that guy. Come on. Right, man down. Now I'm going to have to run because this guy's after me. Right, what are we going for on this guy? There we go. Let's get his right hand side. Shit. And execute. Arm. Nice. Weapon prof proficiency increased. Good. And let's try and fish someone else out. I've still got two health packs. I want to go and get this lonely geezer down here. And there. Just there is my dropped tech from when I died a moment ago. And that had 830 odd bits of scrap in there. Hey sweetie. Boom. Bitch done dead. And what have we got there? Cool. Let's carry on. Shit! Oh my god. Why is this guy battering me? Probably because I'm being absolutely shite. Dead him. Body gear. Nice. Pop that on. I think there's two guys around this corner. I'm going to show you why the running is a bit shit in this game in a second, although you've kind of already seen it. 
execute. There we go, arm gear. Did I pick it up? I don't know. Right, this door is currently locked, don't worry about it. Now there's a cheeky little fella around here. Right, he's dead. Now, where is that? Is there? And there's another one up there. <laughs> and this is, you have to run and jump, and I've only ever done this once. I don't even know if I can be asked to do this. I usually jump off the rocks just here. It's quite good because you can get quite far in the level because there's another little platform up there. Uh, don't worry about it. Right. Okay, so we've done that. Let me just go over here and kill matey boy who's escaped all the... Uh, all of the shenanigans so far. He's dead. And didn't drop anything. And let's open this. I'm going to go for about another 10 minutes, I think. You don't always need to get into these confrontations, guys, as well. You can just run through it. Okay, if we take a right here, this will lead us back to our med lab. And I'm going to do that right now. But there are two nasty little shit bags up here. Hate these guys. I like to lead one away at a time. All right, they're dead. Scrap 2132. Okay, so here's the med lab. As you can see, the first time round, I went round the left there. Second time through there. And third time, where I've just come from, is round here. Just so you get a lay of the land, you know run back in here. Good to, see you. Good to see you too, you cheeky. Let's just restore my health. And increase to level 14. Then we're going to gear assembly and just see if we can make anything. Right, I can now make a Lynx arm gear. I can also make this here leg. Uh, what is this? Rhino arm. That's what I want to build. Can I still build the Lynx arm? Uh, yes. Let's do that then. Okay. So let's pop some stuff on. There you go. Now I'm starting to look the business. Uh, did I have another leg? No, I didn't. Don't have any body gear. Alright, not to worry. Okay, I should be a bit more agile. Happy to help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go this way. Let's try and lure one of these shite bags out. Are you going to come for me? What about you, bruv? Are you going to come for me? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Ah, too early. Hate them. Oh, he's got me. Nice. Oh, I really hate these things. Especially with this weapon. Come on. There we go. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. And back through we go. And what we're going to do here, I think there's a couple little secrets around here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Is it over here? I'll find it eventually. Careful, that blue stuff is very uh, hurty. What have we got? Reinforced pipe. A reinforced pipe. Obviously, spend a lot more time looking. Um, around for bits and pieces than I am. I'm just trying to show you the core mechanics. That's that's the room where we just did all the fighting a moment ago. What we're going to do, we're going to come around here. I'm going to run through this bit 
just to show you a couple more neat things. Now there is a semi-boss through this way. I don't want to do that yet. I just want to show you some some bits and pieces up this way. Oh. So we're going to lock onto this guy at the top of the stairs. Going to run and hopefully kill him. Wait for our thing to recharge and then let's execute. Nice little leg removal. That's good because we need some armor on our legs. Okay, now here's a nice little secret. Punch through here. Punch through here. Let's just destroy everything here. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Great news, audio guys. log. We finally got the Winner. Nuclear audio log. Unit down here. And not a moment too soon. The old one was spitting out worse trash than what you put in. For now, though, you'll have to okay. manually unlock here the schematics on your local accounts, <laughs> at least until they update the is interface. An easy the way to the uh, thing from earlier when you I said you have to run across the rocks and jump up. You can make okay. it by running across the rocks and jumping. You can actually do that. So I uh, don't think I'm lying there. Winky face. Oh shit. Stairs there. Uh, let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. Down these stairs. And I'm going to end this pretty soon. I'm going to run through this way. Careful here because there's some sky sentries. I'm going to show you... There's a few more interesting bits around here. But we're going to open this door. Uh, are we? Yes, we are. I'm going to open the door here. I'm going to fight the geezer inside. I'll show you a whole new area of this game. If I get there, which at the moment is not looking likely. Batter him, man. What are you doing? There we go. Right, he's gone. Get that. Pick that up. Can't go through this door. Um, now, there's that guy on the stairs there. You don't need to fight him. You can pop through here, you see? And you can jump down the stairs. Pick up this secret on the way. Or this schematic. What is it? Small pile of rare material scrap. We can come down here. Go downstairs. Now, if we had a chest rig at this point which we don't, body rig, some of them come with lights, alright? And when you have lights, you have, uh, you can actually turn on a torch down here. We just break through here. And grab this. And just through here, there is, there you go, press down toggle alright there's a geezer over there you can't see him or he's to the right I think there he is let's go and give him a battle I might die here or not perfect it's all getting a bit dark so down here there is a very 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 hard one of the enemies just down there Let's go and fight him but I am gonna leave this video just here I'm just gonna go up to the med lab so this has been like the first sort of 40 minutes or so um, a kind of tutorial if you will of the surge and I've been playing on the Xbox one I really am enjoying this game it's a very very steep learning curve it really is. Uh, there's tons and tons of secret stuff to find. Uh, look, I didn't even go up these stairs. I haven't even. I don't even think I've been up here. Uh, yes, I have. Okay, so there's a guy there, and then there's a guy a bit further on. I don't want to spoil for you, but it's a good little jump scare. Oh, look, these guys have come after me. Can't get them from there. Let's just top the old health up and run past them. 
and I'm going the way I came. So let me know what you think about the Surge. Do you think graphically it's capable? Do you think it imitates the likes of Bloodborne a bit too much? Do you think that's actually what's needed? Do you think it's a, a nice complement to the likes of Bloodborne? Do you think this would be... Whoa, hang on, I got lost. I've just seen what I need to go for. Right, run. Run, Jamie. Stop targeting that geezer. There we go, and we're out. And we're going back home. You kind of, you build a mental map of this place the more you play it. And just running past any sign of danger. Back into my med lab. I might be able to craft the chess piece Welcome while we're in here. In. Hi, thanks. Gear assembly, let's have a look at our chess piece. Still can't still can't craft it. I didn't kill enough people. I was just running through them. Uh, can I upgrade? Can't upgrade anything. But yeah, that's the basics of pretty much everything so far without giving too many spoilers away, guys. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you found this useful, do let me know in the comment section below if you thought the game looked good. Also, do let me know in the comment section below what is your favourite of this style of game. Uh, do you think it's a bit too hard? Uh, let me know what you like about it. I'd really like to know. So thanks for watching everyone and until the next time, see you later.